8 Things You Can Do Every Day For Healthy Feet Your feet are in charge of carrying the weight of your whole body every day. As you can imagine, it's very important to have healthy feet. Your feet, along with your legs, get you from one place to another, supporting you and moving you through life. However, as important as they are, we usually forget about them until something bothers us. If you neglect them, you may start to see excessive dryness, fungus, calluses, and other issues that can be rather unsightly. And since some shoe materials are uncomfortable or irritating, you may get painful chafing or blisters on your feet. Fortunately, there are a lot of things you can do every day to protect them and ensure that you have healthy feet. Today, we'd like to share with you 8 of the best tips to have healthy feet so you can start adding them to your personal hygiene routine. Take notes. One comma do strengthening exercises. When you exercise, you probably forget that your feet need a workout too. The muscles tend to get tight, and over time may cause pain, bunions, and other uncomfortable issues. Luckily there are strengthening exercises designed especially for your feet. That will relax them at the same time. Check this out too, remove foot calluses with this onion and white vinegar treatment. Some exercises are Moving and bending your toes Lifting a pencil with your toes Rolling a towel under the soles of your feet. Rolling your feet on a tennis ball. Walking on your toes. Jumping in a squatting position. Standing on your heels. To comma use exfoliating products. Just like other parts of your body, the skin on your feet needs regular exfoliating treatments to get rid of excess dead skin cells. Your feet are exposed to more dirt, bacteria, and all kinds of unclean surfaces that can deteriorate the skin over time. Using exfoliating products keeps dead skin cells from building up and keeps unsightly calluses from forming on your toes and heels. 3. Comma, treat your feet to Epsom salt baths. A foot bath with Epsom salts and essential oils makes an excellent therapy for tired feet. It will act as a muscle relaxant and also prevent infections and fungus from the growing. Soaking your feet once or twice a week helps keep calluses from forming, helps slough off dead skin cells, and softens your skin. For comma use moisturizing creams. Sudden temperature changes, certain kind of shoes. And exposure to dirt tend to affect the pH of your feet and can make the skin cracked or irritated. Using moisturizing body lotion daily is a simple way to prevent excessive dryness and skin damage. You'll be giving your skin essential nutrients for elasticity, at the same time improving cell activity and preventing buildup of a dead skin on the soles of your feet. 5. Come enjoy an evening massage. 
After a long, tiring workday, there's nothing better than a foot massage to relieve tension and pain. This simple habit is very easy to do, and you can even use soothing oils for the ultimate spa experience. Massage in the feet every night improves your circulation, refreshes the skin, and lowers your risk of developing bunions or calluses. 6. Elevate your feet. Your feet and ankles often get inflamed when you spend you spend a lot of time in the same position, whether sitting or standing. To relieve discomfort or pain, all you have to do is elevate your feet for 5 to 10 minutes at a time. This calms tension, lowers inflammation, and promotes good circulation. We recommend reading. 6 Natural Remedies for Swollen Feet and Ankles 7 Come Wear Ventilated Shoes Sometimes closed-toe shoes are the most appropriate attire for the situation, but at least two or three times a week, it's beneficial to let your feet breathe in ventilated shoes. That's because closed. Moist environments can become home to bacteria and fungus, which can lead to bothersome infections and smelly feet. Aid Come Walk Barefoot for a few minutes each day. When you get home you may want to take your shoes off for a few minutes to stretch your feet all the way from your heels to the tips of your toes. When you walk barefoot. You lower tension and activate your lower leg muscles to prevent future inflammation and pain. Are your feet getting the attention they need? Make an effort to try these recommendations and you'll discover how useful they are for healthy, beautiful feet.